again and welcome back to another video. The new information is coming out about the Lord of the Rings series as well as the nice spring weather starting. I have been wanting some hobbity vests for some layering pieces. So a lot of the hobbity vests that I have seen going around like are kind of fall colors and so I just wanted to make some spring ones for myself. Um, also, I recently went to an exhibit about William Morris at the Art Institute of Chicago and I found some William Morris fabric and I wanted something to do with like a yard of it because it was really expensive. Um, my dream is to make it a gunny sacks out of it, which would be incredible, but we'll see. Maybe I'll save up for that and that will be a project for later this year. Who knows? It's a mystery. I picked out some fabrics and I I'm very excited to get started. I'm just using a pattern that I already had, which I will show you later in the video. And yeah, it's gonna be pretty simple. This video is very late because I made a lot of mistakes in planning and lots of life things happened. So you're gonna be getting this who knows when, but <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Um, I also just wanted to let you know that I am going to be trying out a new upload day, so I'm going to try to upload on Wednesdays for the next few months, see how I like that with my crazy work schedule, and trying to give myself a little bit more of a relaxing Sunday night instead of panicking to get the video done to go up on Monday. So we'll see how that works out. I might switch back to Mondays, but who knows? We'll figure it out. But if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe down below if you'd like to see more from me. Now let's get started. So here are my fabrics for today. I'm going to be making two vests. One will be made out of this bumblebee fabric, and the other one will be made out of this fabric, which is a William Morris print. It's pretty pricey, and it's not really a good, it's really light, it's a little lighter than I would like for this project. It'd be beautiful for a dress if I could afford that much of it, but we're going to be lining it with this green, because it kind of picks up these greens and these leaves. And then this is the pattern that I'm using. So I don't really ever fussy cut things out, but I feel like it would look really good if the center of the center front of this guy was fussy cut out. So I'm going to try it. I'm not, <laughs> I don't know how well it's going to work, but like it's worth a shot. I have plenty of fabric, so I have enough to spare to fussy cut it. Um, yeah, let's just see how this goes. I think I definitely want to fussy cut the William Morris one out. I think that would look really good. But again, I don't think that one I have enough fabric to do the whole thing. So we're gonna just do the front for now and see how well this one works before we... I think it this, this seems not that difficult. It just seems like a difficult fabric placement. So I hope this goes well. This is just the center front again, but we will see.
pretty good, I think. I think that looks all right. It's gonna be, it's gonna be folded, so it'll start a little further over. But I think, yeah, it turned out better than expected. So we've sewn the lining and the outer piece together and turned it inside out. So here is them together. This is the outer fashion side. And then here's the lining side because the bees are skewed. And yeah, so we're, I decided that I'm not going to put boning everywhere the pattern calls for. I'm just going to put it into the seams. So we're going to top stitch along each of these seams and then a little bit away from them to create boning channels. There's going to be two on either side. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put boning in the back. And then I'm considering also putting a bone or two down the center back just to keep that straight. I feel like that might need one. But yeah, that is where we are with this one. Um, the other fabric, still need to turn that right side out and iron those edges down and do all those steps.
one and have one more bias tape than he needs. But I really love how they turned out. I think they're really cute. And I can't wait to put together some more outfits with them. I do kind of want to tear off the bias tape and add a single bone down the center back of them because they do get a little wrinkly throughout the day. But other than that, I really like them and I'm very happy with how they turned out. If you do remember to get all the bias tape you need, this would be a great weekend project. Um, but yeah, not for me because I forgot. I misjudged. But they're done now, so win some, you lose some. <laughs> If you like this video please give it a like and subscribe down more if you'd like to see me check out this video about making a spring dress okay bye